Hey, what's going on everyone? Look at this beautiful weather. So today I dropped my Lotus to the middle of nowhere. So it's quite far away from home and to enjoy the views and do something about my car. So remember a few days ago I told you guys that I'm gonna do something for my car. And apparently, so this time I'll be doing the first mods for my Lotus Elise. Let's have a look. So, beautiful. So what I'm gonna do today is so something very simple. Yeah, recently I ordered some parts from UK and US. Also my friends, Louis, he helped me a lot to order something. So, and this one here, and some of you guys already know, so that's my to a container toolbox whatever you can so I have pretty much everything I need to install a couple of parts yeah maybe we can open it up to see what we got here today so the first part here today is from Lotus the Geno parts and so this apparently is a you can see so a passenger side foot rest so I've been thinking of getting this part for a while and uh, yeah because the original passenger side doesn't have anything to support the feet and uh, so this thing will make the passenger more comfortable to sit on and also it will add the, you can see, some racing vibe in the car and uh, just make the interior more interesting. So, and also some support part, like some foam pad, so some strips to secure the uh, footrest. So this one I don't, I don't really have to drill any holes, so which is good. Yeah, because apparently you don't want to drill anything on the carpet or. So this thing just simply stick on. So. That can secure the footrest together. All right. And so some small parts because you can see the. So usually what usually happens is so this small thing uh, always damaged sometimes. So I get two. Yeah, I just open it. Now look at the, the build quality. So. It's a pretty nice finish. It's like a brushed alumina with a sand, kind of like a sand blasted. Yeah, also on the back, you can see the quality is amazing. So pretty much the same as the the chassis, the the metal surface. So pretty much similar. Also, the installation is straightforward. So I just have to cut those in a proper lens and, uh, just to stick on the on, underneath the footrest. Also the rubber uh, no, the, the, the foam pad on the side. It's pretty much just sliding and secure it so I can adjust the, the distance because the, the thing will just stick on the carpet. So pretty easy to do. So first of all, so uh, you can see I have this one missing on the driver side. So this one here. Yeah, it was already missing when I got the car. But I noticed the I think that one is slightly stripped, so that's the reason it always come off. But what I do, just put it on first. Yeah, just a temporary solution. I think it should be all right. Yeah, look at that. Oh, what's that black stuff? Mm. Hold on. Don't worry about it. I'll clean the car later on. 
you can see I think the the thread is slightly stripped. As long as it can stay, it should be alright. There's also one more part here, so I'm gonna show you later. So this one is our Well, so I think the installation is way too simple. So so I don't have to use the, the velcro uh, what's that the sticky strip. So pretty much I just put a foam pad on. So this thing just simply can have a look. Yeah, it just has, has to push it a little bit so it will stay there. And so pretty solid, you can see. Well, so this one is just a very easy, uh, straightforward installation. And but I just quickly secure the thing to make sure they don't move. All right, I'll, I'm, gonna sh I'm gonna show you the final result soon. Yeah, just like that. So, and also the distance is it's pretty suitable. And you can you can rest your foot like this or just like that. So it's pretty flexible. And yeah, so that's the full rest. So, but I wish this thing can be slightly higher, so you can. I mean, but but now it's okay because I used to have one for my RX7 FT, so it's slightly bigger than this one. Yeah. But right now, I think it's, it's not too bad. So it looks all right. You see before you can only like this or yeah, so it's not very comfortable. So now I'm gonna have more support. So I believe my girlfriend would be pretty happy about this. So hopefully. Alright, let's move on to the next one. And the next part here is slightly more interesting. So this one is from America. And so a guy custom made something or Lotus. So when you see this, you probably know what's this thing. What a cop. Something. Yeah, that's another cop. Alright. Alright, I have to open it first. Hold on. All right, you can see now. So, two cups. But this one I don't really need it. Yeah, I'm not sure because you can see nowadays you only get like a some coffee cup, and this thing is adjustable, which is good. So you can simply uh, you can see the bolt. Yeah, just to lose the bolt, you can. We get bigger, smaller, depending on how big the bottle is. So usually, well, this I think this thing is pretty good structure. You can see it's very solid. I wish it can be slightly thinner. You know, right now it's pretty thick, but I don't know. Yeah, just for some weight saving, it could be slightly thinner. So this is pretty another big part in the car. Yeah, you will see when I installed it. So overall, it's pretty good. You can see the slider. Yeah, so slider is made of the same as the Lotus technology. So extruded aluminum. Yeah, look at the. Beautiful finish, pretty much the same as the Lotus interior. <laughs> well, all right. So the installation also very simple. So I just have to figure out. Uh, so pretty much just put this on and remove the uh, the OBD OBD port. As you can see from here. Yeah. I have to do some research first 
because I have the instruction manual. I just have a look. Probably this two bolt and another two bolt over there, and simply bolt a slider on so you can use it. Very simple. All right, so apparently it's not very easy to film. So while I'm doing this, but I'll do it slowly. I'll try to put this on first, and let's figure out. Yeah, just one thing to make sure. So the washer is still supposed to stay on here. So you can see when I remove the bolts. I was going to put the washer here, but what I found is. So this is the correct way, so the washer to stay on here. So that's why they create some gap between the slider and also the, the holder. Alright, let's keep working on it. Now we need to remove the bolt to hold the OBD port to bolt. Also you can see there's another hole here. So this thing right here. So I'll have a look. And uh, looks like so it's gonna fit with this bolt and uh, what about this mm, let's have a look first and also to be honest it's not that easy to work on this thing inside a Lotus cabin As you can imagine how tight the cabin is and sometimes you don't it's not easy to move around your body and <laughs> Yeah, just a little back pain right now, but it's okay. We're just to uh, let's keep doing it. Yeah, I think I have to work smarter because I cannot really see the thing. Let's see, so there's a two hole here, another hole here. Mm, but I'm not sure if this one is useful. Mm. Is there any others? see yeah, so it looks like there's another one so, so what I have to do is mm, all right let me do it first because it's really hard to film I'll try to put it on and you will see what's going on yeah, guys, I've done it. Yeah, it's definitely not an easy job. These are apparently those two bolts. And also the um, thing on the Lotus Elise Sport 220. I'm not sure, maybe apply for the new shape XH. So, yeah, again, it's not easy to film. But you can only rely on uh, two bolts, so one here, another one on the the other side. So only two bolts to support the to secure the uh, cup holders, because that one is pretty much useless. Because, um, also the OBT port. I'm trying to figure out maybe I can just. Yeah, maybe just leave it like that. You cannot really see it. Yeah, when you're driving, you cannot really see it. Because this thing will be... Yeah, it's functional. Okay. Uh, I will have a try. To see if this thing will come out under the acceleration. But should be alright. Still have a little bit of resistance. Yeah. Maybe I'll just try to... Put a water bottle to see how it's gonna look like. Yeah, guys. So this is the final product. Yeah, pretty nice and solid. So I apply some pressure so it doesn't really move. And when you don't need it, you can just slide inside. It doesn't really affect anything. As for these two cups, so I probably not gonna use them because when you drive it, it will just play around. Even though I try to secure it, it was still, you can see, because of the rubber, you can see there's a rubber, uh, oh sorry, so this rubber is like a, I'll 
try to stay focused. Well, don't worry about it. It's really hard to focus, but you can see. So, this rubber ring. It could be slightly smaller, so I can use this lip to see it on the top. But right now you can see the size is pretty much touching the outside of the lip. So I can't really uh, rely on this one. Yeah, so overall I think this one is a pretty handy mod. Uh, especially for the coffee cups and if you like milk teas. So it's pretty good. Yeah. So this is it, the first two mods for my Lotus Elise. Well, I think that's not the first one. I'm sure you won't think. So the first mod is actually the the blind spot mirror. So this mirror is really helpful, and uh, I recommend everyone who drive a Lotus or any car with a bad blind spot, so it must have this. All right, so. That's a second and third, so but yeah, so if you guys like the video, so make sure to let me know and uh, hope this video helpful and so next time I'm not sure when, but I'm gonna keep you updated so there's more interesting content coming up. Alright guys, see you next time.